Well, hello, hello, my dear viewers, my dear friends, welcome back to the channel, and today we are back in London, more specifically atop the London Eye. We are back in Harry Potter in Minecraft, and last time, if you remember, we did some creative exploring of this fantastic map. We went around the borough, we went to the love goods, and now we're back in London. We ended last episode, we came from Privet Drive to London through the borough of Isilton? Something along those lines? Yeah, from here. We found a lot of the backstage of this map things that normally we wouldn't be supposed to see but since we are in creative we of course manage to see them now I want to finish London today in terms of exploration I don't know what else I can look for in London there's not a whole lot and yeah the map ends here and it's just a cliff as it was in the borough area but that's cool because the map itself is fantastic like if they wanted to like keep the story going the adventure going they had a map to create a story that could go way past the the formative years at Hogwarts and it could go way way further than that our character could get a job at the ministry a lot of things because they have the map for it and this is amazing like they didn't need to do all this like london specifically like i'm speaking specifically of london they didn't have to do all this like sure this building let's let's speak about this building here i don't know what this building is I don't know maybe it's I don't know if it's just an apartment building if it is a business building it's in Westminster so but okay you have the facade of the building but then they went to the work of doing this like this is dedication because none of these was theoretically necessary because you normally you don't expect people to be flying around your map and just the sheer detail, I cannot stop gushing about this game because the sheer amount of detail, and you bet I'm going to the top of Big Bang, like, ah, oh, look at that, and, we just let me, nope, I wanna, in true Assassin's Creed fashion, yep, I am literally at the top of the map but my god seriously like this map like they did so much for the little time we spent in London they did so much and I mean look at this like granted the interior has and it's semi explorable I mean not really explorable but yeah you know what I mean like Man, I cannot imagine how much work this must have been. Like, as, as I've been saying, I struggle to even build a proper place in Minecraft, let alone a structure like freaking Big Ben. Like, I don't even... But yeah, I want to go back actually to Diagon Alley. I want to go back to Diagon Alley and I want to go back to the Leaky Cauldron. There's some doors there. There we are. There's some doors there that need our help to be unlocked. And I want to explore because I've been seeing them since the beginning and I'm like no locked doors can bar me. So, so yeah. I want to see the locked doors because I'm sure there's at least a collectible there if nothing else so ha unlocking see 
Yeah, this is definitely a chest with creatures. Oh no, well, it's just a, a chest with some potions. Okay, no matter. Ah, and this, okay, there's a chest here as well. Ha, see? A wizard card. I don't even know how many I have. Let me check my inventory. How many wizard cards do I have? Uh, I have a lot of books still. And... Where on... Um... Okay, so I don't have the cards here. I don't know if I have any way to track, to keep track of the... Keep track of the of the cards. Maybe on a quest log? Treasure hunts. Ah! Alright, so there's wait. Wasn't there Wasn't there a hundred wizard cards? Maybe not, but my god, we're still a ways away. Like I don't know if I am gonna do this or at least not on video. I don't think I will. I might do on my spare time because I really like this map. But I gotta be honest, the series hasn't been doing all that well in the channel, so I think I'll just end it. I'll probably end it in like three episodes. In three more episodes. So I'll try to end it at 15. And then, and then I'll just keep going by myself, exploring the map by myself, because I really think I'll have a lot of fun exploring it, so, I don't know, if any of you is there watching and you still want this to continue, I'll do it, no problem, I will do it if you guys ask me to, but I think that I will really, really just explore this on my own. Like, take my time, go creative whenever I want to go. So far I'm just... Oh, and this never gets old, look at that. Yeah. But yeah, I'll probably finish this at episode 15. I'll try to explore some other things. Like... In the next few episodes, we have three more episodes left, I think. I'm not sure. But yeah, this is Diagon Alley. Oh, there's <laughs> there's more assets. So let's let's pull ourselves down a bit. I wanna go to Nocturne Alley. That is supposedly here. Yeah. It's there. We go. Nocturne Alley. Nothing to see here. Just a shrimp. I think something fell outside. I should go check it out. Hello. Hmm. Hmm. Not lost, are you? No, no, no. I know exactly where I am. And I know that I can fly away if I so wish to. Okay. So there is... There is an exploring section here. Ah. Hello, goblins. All right, so Nocturne Alley. Oi! I. I don't think you're supposed to be here. Yay! I'm a hero to the people. <laughs> oh God, yeah. I'm a hero. Oh, hmm. Colin Colibri. Hmm. Here's what I have to sell. Okay, I do have a few things I could sell, but I'm not gonna sell my fancy swords. Like, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna sell the books. Hmm. No, sir. I shan't sell anything. Anything you have around? No, no, not really. All right, I want to I want to try and find that chest. Like I don't know where I should go. 
Oh, this is Borgin and Burks, isn't it? It could be. Imagine if we find Borgin and Burks and we find the the secret wait how ah imagine if we find the secret cabinet that leads to the room of requirements like Sorry, headphone users. <laughs> oh my god, I, I I will have I will have to tweet this. I need to take a print screen, I will have to tweet this. Oh my god. <laughs> They're just acting. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I am sorry. I mean, I, I am so sorry. What happens if I do this? I mean, can I? Okay, I managed to deal with one of them. Like, <laughs> imagine if I'm able to do this to Voldemort. <laughs> Okay, sir, your turn next. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this series is over. I defeated the Dark Lord Voldemort himself. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. Oh. Oh my god, my cheeks hurt. <laughs> oh. There's... There's a chest here. Oh god. Oof. Oh my arm. Oh my god, that was amazing. Sir? I have dealt with your problem. Lord Voldemort is no longer in your backside, don't worry. I dealt with him. Oh, my cheeks hurt. Oh my god, I just dealt with Voldemort. That... That was a cool... That was a cool detail, like... That was... That was amazing, man. That... The little things, it's the little things that... That do it, like... I don't even know where I am anymore. Like, there's more Death Eaters here. Oh. Yeah, I defeated your lord. Huh. Where's your boss now, huh? Aha, this is Borgen and Burks then. Alright. <coughs> what do you have for me? Alright, many things in here. Well, mm -hmm. okay. Hmm. Students of Blaise Zavini. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Blaise Bloody Zavini. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll think about it. I mean. Oh. What is this? Oh, it's that hand! Oh, I, I needed to take it. Okay, that's what I need. Oh, that's the cauldron. Oh my god, I, I'm, I'm still recovering from that. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm still trying to... to get a hold of what I did. 
Like, because I, I'm still speechless about that Easter egg. Like, completely speechless I am. Like, I don't even know what was that. I mean, I know what it was. But, ah, uh, I was not expecting that. Ah, I believe this is supposed to be the, the closet, I, the cabinet I was talking about. Yeah, so sadly it's not usable. Alright, so yeah, the shop leads to here. Okay. <coughs> so, nothing that I really want from here. I do want to find that place. It's a dragon skeleton. That's cool. Oh man, I don't even know what to say to that. That was just so... Oh, seriously? Man, this episode is just an easter egg hunt, honestly. Ooh. Mudbloods on how to spot them. Oh god. Man, this episode is just... I mean, it has made my day. Like, it has made my day, this episode. Like, Nocturne Alley turned out to be a fantastic place to explore, really. Just because of that. Like, just because of that small detail. Oh. Oh my. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, I think I know. Oh my god. This episode just keeps getting better and better. This is a s not that I ever seen the movie or the the play. But this is a reference to Sweeney Todd. Like the chair, the scissor. Oh my god. This is amazing. Look at that. Like, I remember a bit from the trailers I saw when the Johnny Depp movie came out, like, years ago. And the atmosphere is this atmosphere. Ah, oh, and the pies, of course, that's why there's a pie up there. Holy hell, this is intense. Oh, and the turkey. Oh my goodness. And, of course, there's... Ah, so that... Ah, that's why. Traditional meat pies. I haven't even seen this. Oh, this is amazing. Really amazing. Nocturne Alley. I gotta give it to them. I was not expecting anything from this place. Like... Honestly, I wasn't expecting anything from Nocturne Alley. I was just thinking, oh, okay, it's just gonna be Borgin and Bergs and nothing else. But no. Nocturne Alley turned out to be so much more. And I'm still not done. I want to find... I want to find that treasure. Because there is treasure here to be found. Okay, so there's treasure here. But I don't know how to get there. Like, there doesn't appear to be a lever from here. And it appears that I have to come from there. To then open the lever that will allow me to... To be here. So, the entrance way may not be that far. How do I... Okay, I am up here. And there's this... There's this... There's this store. It doesn't have anything to it. <coughs> but there's nothing else here. Huh. I'm gonna fly around a bit. And... Okay, this is the... No. Uh, it, yeah, this is the store where I found... Bloody Voldemort just chilling out. Who I preemptively killed. I mean, I am, as of this moment, hmm. 
Did you ever hear the tragedy of Cadmus Peverell, the second mm. brother? No. Okay, yeah, huh. the, the one with the stone. Mm. Yeah. Okay, thank you. That was an interesting bit of lore. Cadmus was the one that got the stone, right? The stone of Resur... Yeah, it was. So, oop. So, yeah, I mean... I don't exactly know... Wait, didn't I...? Yeah, they might respawn after a bit. That's okay. I already checked this chest. Huh. I wonder... How the hell do I get down there? I'm expecting that it's not something that's blatantly exposed. <coughs> So I would have to explore, like, ferociously. Okay, this is Borgin and Bergs again. Hmm. The meat pie house, of course. <coughs> I mean, I'm expecting probably, like... Hmm. You look awfully young to be here. Okay, mm -hmm. no goodbye. Hmm. Let me check Borgin and Burks again. Maybe there's a trap though there that that can lead me somewhere. Like because I'm finding it very weird that there's no like apparent way to just Ah Okay. Nothing Oh, okay. It's a trap door, but it's not the kind I was expecting, so Okay. Because I imagine that there's no just blatant way to get there, so I mean, hmm, no, apparently there isn't anything here, and I really don't know how to get there, and I want to get there, okay, I've been here, hmm, boy, the hell? Something tells me I shouldn't be able to do that. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I... Mm, unless there's like something here, no, maybe... Oh. Okay. I know I'm not supposed to be here, but... Maybe I just want to find out how exactly do I get here and I'm below the map just just because just because I can okay this doesn't seem to be the connector and there's a lot of ah what is this okay no it's just this is probably just a placeholder for for the thing so oh what is here idea was to have this collapsed but we couldn't be bothered <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's cool. Um, oh god, I am laughing a lot. This episode is so amazing. Like, amazing. Really, really amazing. Okay, so it connects here. So whatever building this is, it should have a connection here. And I am already way out of line, so... Okay, I'm back at Diagon Alley and I'm back at Nocturn Alley. Okay. So it appears that Borgin and Burks is indeed the place to go. But it doesn't look like it. Because there doesn't appear to be... I've been there. So, I mean... There really isn't anything here. Oh well, I will go now, because I think we've overstayed our welcome here. I'm gonna try to find my way out. And here we are, so yeah. Oi. What is this? Have we, been, have we been... Oh yeah, we have, yes, we have. So, I think we should be able to do something with this, but... No, wait. But Bombarda Maxima doesn't work on this. Yeah, Bombarda Maxima does not work on this. So... 
There are no levers around, so I don't think... Maybe this is just a placeholder. No, there is a lever there. Like, I know there has to be a way there. Okay, let me... Let me go back and explore Sweeney Todd's place again. Like... Maybe there's something here that I missed. Oh my god, the music just stops. This is creepy. No, there doesn't... There doesn't... Bloody hell. There doesn't seem to be anything here. Like... Nothing out of the ordinary. Anyway, so... Hmm. And this is, of course, not... A way we can enter. Oh well. I... yeah, I'm going out, because this place is creeping me out, so I'm gonna go out into the sunny, sunny streets of Diagonal, and I'll just... yeah, never mind. Maybe the entrance to those sewers is through Diagonal, and I'm just trying to make them be in Nocturnale, but... Hmm. Shopping for Hogwarts, are we? Yeah, apparently we are, but you don't have anything to sell, so... Alright. Oh, another shop here. Alright. Hmm. Okay. Scrolls and tomes. Hmm. Okay, I was expecting you to sell me something, but you don't have anything to sell to me. Oh my, is that the time already? Oh, blimey. I was not expecting that. It's getting close to our to our designated time now. Time does fly when you're having fun. And by the way, I'm just using creative because it makes it faster to to move around. It's not like I get infinite magic or anything. But uh, can I go there? Oh my god, I can! Oh, please. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. Well, we know what this means, right? It's break time. My dear friends, my dear viewers, I'm gonna pull down the music a bit, because it's a bit, but, my dear friends, my dear viewers, this is gonna be it for this episode, I had a lot of fun and I am now reconsidering stopping this at 15, but I'll probably do and just keep exploring the map on my own, because the map is immensely fun and there's a lot of things, cool things to discover, and these two easter eggs today have been amazing, like amazing. Voldemort hidden in the Nocturne Alley shop and the Sweeney Todd one really are so cool to find. And we are in Gringotts and next time we will explore it and see what kind of loot we can find in here. So. I say my goodbyes to you, I hope you have enjoyed this video, if you have, please leave a like, a comment, and if you'd be so kind, please subscribe to the channel, we are ever so close to our goal of 50 subscribers by the end of the 23rd of July. So I will see you guys next time, I bid you a fantastic weekend if I don't see you tomorrow in Kingdom Come Deliverance. I'll see you then, bye bye.